Aside from solving puzzles, I also have another hobby – 3D printing. This amazing technology allows us to print really big models. The secret here is that it's printed in two parts, and it fits into a small printing volume. And here is my smallest 3D printer. You may ask, what you can print on it so big? This monkey is made on a printer with a printing volume of 18 by 18 cm. It is much larger than it seems this printer is able to print. Well, the secret here is also that it's printed in two parts. But what is the smallest model you can print on a 3D printer? Today I want to test the 3D printer to the limit of its capabilities in order to understand how small and how detailed the model can be created using an FDM 3D printer. It will be interesting, you're in the Kubastic channel, let's go. We have two Banshee ships, standard size, and this is how they look. Both of them are printed on the Bamboo Lab 1 mini printer, and today we will reduce the size of this particular model. And this is how it looks in 100% size. And now we will reduce it. We choose a model, scale, and I think 75. Even 70 of the total size. It is already much smaller. Look, if we slide this model, you can see each layer separately. And this is how it will be printed. The height of one layer is 0.2 mm. In total, we have 168 layers and the height will be 33.6 mm. I am sure that printing of a ship of this scale will not have any problems. A 3D printer can move at a distance of a millimeter and print the details of the model accurately. But that's just the beginning, so now it prints only the funnel. This is the last stage and the most difficult one, because on the small vertical parts the printer can work in one place for a long time and simply overheat the model's body. And this is probably the first problem we will face when we reduce the size of the model. And done! This is how it looks. Listen, if you don't take into account these strains, such a small model was printed quite well. Just look at how the 70 version differs from the original size, how much smaller it is. All the holes are printed in the same way, great bridges, almost everything looks great. We even have a hole left here. This square looks great too, almost without any issues on the edges. And the details on bottom are clear, listen, not a bad result. And in general, it does not differ at all from the original in quality. Let's reduce it and move on. 50%. And how much smaller it will be? Well, a lot. It is so small. <laughs> Even fewer layers. 120 layers, 24 mm in height. How long it will print? 19 minutes. Let's go. It's so cute, so tiny, just look at it. I can't even imagine what awaits us next. In general, the goal of this experiment is to understand at what stage the printer will run over its capabilities. We have the same standard nozzle size on all prints, that's why I wonder if I will have to change the printing temperature, adjust the speed and make some other changes to get the same quality for smaller models. My ship is not small, it's just cold in here. Well, the main thing isn't size, right? Oh, the most interesting one. The last stage. Layer by layer, very quickly it rises on the funnel. There is a great risk that it will overheat the model and the shape will be ruined. Look at this! It looks perfect! There is no issues at all! I would even say that it looks better than the previous two. The bottom is clear, there is even a hole here. This small hole isn't a hole anymore, of course, but all the other details are fine. Even the steering wheel is detailed. Holes in the aft, square round holes in the windows. Well, even the funnel looks quite straight. I'm happy about it. And we move down to 30%. Wow, the height will be less than 1.5 cm. Here we have 72 layers. The height is 14.4 mm. Let's print. Uh, we have a problem. Here is the warning. Looks like objects are floating. I'll change the outer perimeter and make lines thinner and hope it helps. And it works! And this is the last stage, funnel. Listen, even here it seems straight? Huh, I'm impressed. 
I did not imagine that such a small ship would be so perfectly printed. Here is the size compared to my finger. And look at these details. Everything is perfect. Geometry look gorgeous. Bottom of the boat is not readable. The hole in the back is in the place. And funnel is printed perfectly. These holes on the forward look not too bad. Oh, bridges, windows look great. By the way, flagpole has completely disappeared. And here's our fleet. And I want to move on. I wonder what else the 3D printer can do. And this seems to be the most interesting moment. But now I know for sure that difficulties await me. It was 30%, now it's 20. Only 60 layers. And our funnel hangs in the air. How? So no funnel on next ship. Funny. All right, let's bring some magic and make printing lines even thinner. And now it looks like this. Let's see if our channel will be printed. Yeah, it will be. And here's another issue. Our serine wheel now won't be printed. But I have an idea. Right click on the ship, add a detail, add in a cylinder, reducing it, and putting the cylinder in the place of the steering wheel to add more thickness to it. And let's see if it will be printed. Yay, it will be! We did it! Look, the steering wheel became thicker, and now it's fine. Not bad, but I have a feeling that such a small first layer can simply stick off the build plate. 20% of the original size. It will be smaller than a sunflower seed. It is just incredible. Wait, why is it in the air? Oh, everything's fine. I thought we missed something. And the most responsible moment is the funnel. A1 Mini, you are the hero. Okay. A little wet filament. You see how critical it is on such small models. I want to clean up these plastic strings using the heat gun, but I'm worried not to melt my ship completely. I'll try to do it carefully. No, I'm afraid to do it. Oh, it helped a little. Responsible moment. I'm very curious what we've got. So tiny and fragile. How well it is printed. Layers look very good. And even the funnel didn't melt, which I was so afraid and worried about. Comparing with the previous one, it looks like a child's toy. But we won't stop there. I really want to print even smaller ship. So, 15% of the size. Is it even possible? Yes. It looks great. Let's see how it will be printed, huh? Let's go. The first layer. The only thing I forgot to do is to reduce the speed to 50%, so that it prints slower, because the slower it prints, the battery should come out. It looks like the ship is almost tearing off the build plate, because there is literally one point holds it on. Oh, I see the problem. I'll pause it, it's okay, everything happens. Here's our problem, a small amount of plastic on the very edge. At this scale, it would have ruined our print. So, we had to restart. I hope the next time everything will be fine. We will have to reduce the speed for sure. If it does not work, I will reduce the flow in the next print. Obviously, our previous ship looks much worse. And I tried to do my best to make this one print a little bit better. And I'm not sure that we can print such a size today, but this is a 15%. And I think it deserves your like. Oh, here's disaster. It's already stick off, so we will correct the settings because otherwise it won't work. Okay, 
Yeah, still you need to have a deeper knowledge in order to adjust such a detailed print. I've already changed dozens of settings. The only thing I will do now is change the speed. I hope that by printing slower, it will be possible to print it better. I will reduce the speed by half. And we will also add a skirt. It will help to secure our ship in one place. And we also include all types of calibration. Wish me luck! The height of the layer is 0.8 mm. Just for you to understand the difference. And I will reduce the temperature and increase the airflow again, because plastic filament overheats. Very thin lines, the printer stays for a long time in one place, so it just overheats and the shape is lost. It worked out, friends. It worked out! I wouldn't say it extra high quality, but it looks like what we wanted to print. Here it is. 15% Banshee. Yeah, there are some quite serious questions, but it looks like Banshee. You know what? This is probably the most detailed and the highest quality model that I managed to print on the FDM 3D printer. As far as I know, 10% is the smallest Banshee ever printed on the FDM printer. And it looked like a Banshee. But then it was printed with the smaller nozzle. And now we will do it with the standard one. I hope it works out, friends. I've tried pretty much everything. I adjusted the sprint for about 20 minutes and I changed almost everything. Temperature, speed, flow, print separation. The height of the layer in this ship is 0.05 mm. This is very, very little. Friends, here it is. 10% Banshee ship will be ready in a moment. It's printing a funnel. Wow, it looks like a real one. Well, it is real, but you know what I meant. It's just something out of this world. You can't even imagine how small it is. I understand, it looks not too good, but check this out. This is a 6mm Banshee. Can you imagine? And the height is less than 5. I don't know if it's a record or not, but I am happy of today's experiment. It showed a lot, really. Not only what a 3D printer is capable of, but also how with countless adjustments you can compete with the most difficult challenge. For me, today's winner is the Red Banshee. It is just perfect. Let me know which one was your favorite and what should I print next. Hit that like button, subscribe and ring the bell. See you next video.